they say it takes 20 years for research to actually be translated and put into practice in, in doctors' offices. It always takes a long time for research to get translated into modern medicine. When you're talking about these psychologists and their lack of rec recognition of these medical issues, it's probably because that research has not really trickled down to them yet. When we find something in research, then you have to go through the clinical trials to, to try and find something practical from that. So I don't know that they're all staying on top of you know, the latest gut studies if they're a psychologist. The most important thing I find that is needed and that is certainly lacking is collaboration between specialists. Our founder, Dr. Aben, has a son on the spectrum who is a teenager and he wasn't doing very well medically. He had uncontrolled seizures. He was severely self-injurious and aggressive towards others. And he had a hard time finding local doctors that understood how to treat these medical issues or how to even identify them. One of the things that we did at the Mind Institute here explicitly is we appreciated that uh, we need to have psychologists who are talking to immunologists and molecular biologists talking to you know psychiatrists and whatever. For his own son, he brought Dr. Bowie, who is a gastroenterologist, Dr. Margaret Bowman, who is a pediatric neurologist, um, Dr. Chuck Henry is a psychiatrist and psychopharmacologist, and then the other three doctors are from UCLA. Dr. Uh, Rafi Toschen is an allergy immunologist. Dr. Lonnie Zeltzer is a pediatric pain specialist, one of the only ones in the country. And Dr. Talim Babikian is a neuropsychologist. Clinicians alone aren't going to solve the problem. Scientists alone aren't going to solve the problem. It really takes the, 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 co the collaboration of both. We have these children who are medically complex on, on you know, a variety of levels, whether you know, it is that 30% of children who are on the spectrum have um, epilepsy. You know, 40% of children on the spectrum have food allergies, and 70% uh, have gastrointestinal disorders. So all these different disorders require a different specialist. But if those specialists aren't talking to each other, and there isn't any collaboration, you're going to walk away with multiple plans of care. We realized it really does take a village to understand a complex disorder like autism. So together, we use this service now for children all across the U.S. and even overseas, where we'll bring our six specialists together in a video conference with the family and that family's treating physician. So if your child is seen primarily by a pediatrician, that pediatrician is involved in this video conference with our doctors and together through this collaboration we develop a cohesive plan of care. So a family has one plan of care to follow as opposed to six different plans of care from six different specialists who never communicated.